What's going on, Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you your um, your June solar return reading for the sign of Virgo, the ascending sign, the sun sign of Virgo. All right. Uh, I did a solar return reading for the collective. It's very important that you check that out as well. So I put a link in the description box for that. And it may be attached at the end of this video. But make sure you check out all of your retrograde videos because we got more planets coming in retrograde this summer. We have Neptune and Jupiter coming in retrograde at the end of this month. I'll have a video for you for those. And then in August, we got Uranus going in retrograde. So um, we're going to have like a, at least three or four planets going into re or being in retrograde for the rest of the summer. So retrograde energy is all about reflection. So um, I did the uh, solar return energy read for the collective. Uh, so check that out because that gets into very specific and explicit detail about what we as a collective may be experiencing with these energies. Um, I did that so that, you know, I did that because, like I said, we got a lot of planets in there in retrograde. So there's a lot of um, crazy energy going on. <laughs> right. And it's just very important that if you can use this energy or this knowledge to uh, put you two steps ahead so that you're not as stressed you can see what's going on or you have an idea what might be going on or what you may experience and it allows you to be two steps ahead this is what this is all about okay um so for those of you who are new welcome i incorporate astrology into my readings and i don't always use the traditional tarot cards because it's not a traditional tarot channel uh so you know, give it a try, see what's up, check out some of the other uh, videos that I post to see, you know, how you feel about things. And hopefully you decide to become a part of the community. If this channel is not for you, no worries. No need to be nasty in the comments because I'm not the type of reader that you're looking for. Um, you know, find somebody that works for you, you know, no harm, no foul here. I'm not here to be rude or nasty or mean because you don't like what I do. So, you know, please don't be rude, nasty and mean to me in the comments because, you know, the reading is over your head or it's just something that you don't rock with, okay? We don't rock with everything. Everybody, everything ain't for everybody. This channel definitely ain't for everybody. This is for the more advanced, spiritually aligned people who are looking to figure out their path and um, how to go about getting through the trials and tribulations of that path, okay? If you're just here for entertainment, you won't enjoy this channel at all, all right? Or if you're not here to do the work, to put yourself on a journey where you need to be, then this is not the channel for you. So moving on, my Virgos, we have um, the solar eclipse is uh, like it's it's a new moon. It happens during a new moon. Um, and if you're familiar with my channel and you rock with my channel, welcome to those who continue to come back and show your love and support. I love you. Thank you so much. You know, I always talk about the new moon and the full moon. If I'm not talking about it in the community tab, I'll do a reading for you on it, right? So um, in reference to manifestation, in reference to affirmations, in reference to spell work, uh, full moons are used to remove anything that you don't want, anything that you don't need anymore, whether it's emotion, people, place, or the things, you remove that out of your life. A uh, new moon is, um, you know, a completed cycle of the moon, which is like, what, 28 and a half days? Well, once the moon completes a cycle, it begins at the new moon again. So new moons represent new energy, new life, new projects, new things. Well, because we have a solar eclipse, solar eclipses always happen with new moons. So solar eclipses make a regular new moon a new moon on steroids. So this is a great energy and a great time for you to take advantage of this energy to manifest what it is that you want in life. All right. Um, but also you need to be careful of the other energies that are around that could keep you from getting what you want. So with that being said, um, let's talk about where this solar eclipse is in your chart. So the solar eclipse is going to be in the house of Gemini. Now, we already have two other planetary bodies in that house. Because this is Gemini season, we have the sun there. So wherever the sun is, um, is the season that we're in. So because it's Gemini season, we know for a fact the sun is in Gemini. So we have the sun in that house. What else do we have in that house? Well, we know we have Mercury retrograde in Gemini this time around. And so uh, we have the planet of Mercury there in retrograde. So with Mercury retrograde, we know that Mercury retrograde is about a time of reflection uh, because Mercury deals with the logical mind. So it's a time of reflection, a time of reflective thoughts, uh, thinking back about things that have happened in the past, people that you've known, places you've been. It also deals with transportation, uh, your local area, your community. It could also deal with your siblings 
friends and extended family, okay, stepbrothers, stepsisters, godbrothers, god sisters, regular brothers, regular sisters, aunties, uncles, cousins, you know, your extended family, also where you grew up, you know, your hometown environment. So that's what Gemini deals with. It also deals with communication and travel. So that's all in retrograde. So memories uh, a lot of times are coming, okay? Hold on, we got the siren coming, one sec. Sorry, you guys, I live near a hospital. Sometimes um, I cut it off if the siren is coming. Sometimes I just let it rock. Um, so, yeah, with Mercury retrograde there, you know, we're dealing with a lot of reflective energies, reflective um, memories, things like that. Uh, people could be coming back from the past. But, you know, if you watch my channel and you look in the community section, we don't already talked about this, B. You already know not to take nobody back during a Mercury retrograde, especially if it's somebody who ghosted you or left you. Um, or somebody that you decided to leave because things weren't working out. If the relationship was turmoil and then y'all separated, no need to take this person back. And now it's up to you to do what you want, you know, but you know I'm going to tell you the truth and what I see in the cards. And for a lot of you, you know yourself taking somebody back that you shouldn't have taken back. It's put your life in a situation where it's creating more turmoil than not. So with the sun and the moon in the 10th house, the 10th house for you deals with your career aspirations, your professional achievements, your professional endeavors. It deals with your moral compass. What do you feel is right? What do you feel is wrong? It deals with your reputation, how people see you, whether in a professional front or in a personal front. Meaning I may know you as a dentist and you may live two blocks up from me in a purple house. So, oh yeah, that's John. He's a dentist. He lives in the purple house. That's your reputation. That's how people know you, right? So we're dealing with that. So some of you may be going through a change of that. So um, if we're dealing with professional endeavors and career uh, changes and choices, some of you could be uh, focused on that, uh, looking to change your career, looking to uh, maybe some of you considering going back to school or you're considering uh, applying for a different job or you're considering going out on your um, own as far as your entrepreneurial endeavors. Uh, maybe some of you are receiving awards for what you do or recognition for what you do in your uh, professional environment. Some of you are just looking at your morals and your values and where they've gotten you in reference to the relationships you've been in. All right. So let's talk about how these energies. Oh, so the sun and the moon, when they come together in one house, they bring the ultimate yin and yang balance. So where the sun deals with, I'm sorry, the moon deals with your emotions and feelings, your intuitive energy, your creative energy, your thoughts, the masculine energy deals with the actions as a result of those thoughts. So it's it's going to be pretty even and balanced because, you know, Mercury deals with the logical mind and the thoughts. Mercury doesn't deal with emotion at all. So the moon's coming in to deal with the emotional piece of it. But the moon is all about, the new moon is all about new emotion. We want to clear out, we've cleared out the old. Uh, with the solar eclipse, well, I'm sorry, with the lunar eclipse that we had two weeks ago in Sag. We're still feeling the energy of that because we've got a lot of people in their feelings and in their emotions. Trust me, I haven't seen it. So a lot of people still dealing with that, but we're somewhat getting um, closer to the end of that, depending on, you know, what's been going on in your life, depending on what kind of seeds you've been planting, so to speak. Um, but a lot of people, they still got a lot of, they're not, not going to have a good summer. Um, only because they're dealing with some bullshit or they're refusing to accept the bullshit that they've done to people, things like that. So hopefully you're not one of them. All right. But um, the sun and the moon in one house brings balance. OK, so you're able to look at things from um, a, a, a comfortable state of mind where you're evenly balanced. You're not all over the place with your emotions. And as a result, your actions are going to manifest that. OK, so the room that we have that represents the energies you may be experiencing in that house is the Sowito, S-O-W-I, I'm sorry, Sowilo, S-O-W-I-L-O. -L. This is room number 16. Uh, there are 25 different symbols for the runes. Each symbol has a, a different representation. This one is number 16. Uh, the number 16 major arcana is the tower energy. So let's see if this relates in any way. So we have empowerment, energy, well-being, life force, victory guiding light, achieving success, increase spiritual will, celebration of life, health and abundance, open yourself to the power, soulmate on your path, or sunshine on your path, excuse me, all is well, enjoy life, dancing in the light, bask in the warmth of the sun, the gods are smiling on you, the season of growth, energy at its maximum strength, this is beautiful. 
beautiful oh i love this energy okay so it could have been that a tower moment occurred for you and usually when a tower moment occurs it is kind of drastic it is but a lot of times we don't realize these tower moments in the end what it does is it puts us on the path that we need to be on because sometimes we go down the wrong path and we don't listen to the uh, universe telling us hey turn left turn left turn left you keep going straight because you're focused on what you want but the universe is trying to tell you that's not good for you and so when you don't listen the universe will create a tower moment right so it could be that you were in love with this person, right? And so the universe is like, this person is not good for you. So this person, the universe will do certain things to make you realize this person ain't good for you. This person may cause you all kinds of problems and stress and aggravation. And you still stay with them. And to the point where the universe throws a monkey wrench, maybe this person gets arrested and they have to do serious time. So now this person is out of your life. You may be miserable about it because you love this person, you wanted to be with them, and you're on some, oh yeah, we had our ups and downs. Yeah, this person wasn't shit, basically. You had your ups and downs, you're absolutely right. And so the universe was like, nah, this person can't be around. So this person gets arrested and they go to jail. So you may be miserable at one point, but then you meet someone or you start to realize now you got more money. You got friends now that want to come around and hang around you. You got dating options that are even better than the person you were with. And you may not even correlate it. But some of you do because you know what time it is. You study the planetary alignments and you understand as above, so below. Everything happens for a reason. There is no coincidence. So this is beautiful energy coming into your life. Okay, so the tower moment is over, which parted way for positive things. We have that clarified with the sweetheart energy. Further clarify with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you were dealing with someone who um, was draining you, draining of you of your emotional energy, draining you of your finances. This is somebody who did not want to commit to you or you were in a committed relationship, but they were cheating on you. Some of you, this person may have stepped out on you and had kids by somebody else. Um, but what I feel like is the emotional turmoil that you had behind this connection um, with the, when the moon comes in on June 10th, I feel like your emotions are going to be balanced out. So some of you, you are going to meet someone who is going to give you the connection that you want. Some of you want commitment. You will meet someone who will give you the commitment. Some of you want out of this connection. You will be in the mindset where you will be able to listen to the um, universe and you will find your way out of this situation. Okay, um, in reference to career endeavorments and career endeavors and professional achievements and things like that, I feel like some of you, like I said, you're going to be getting some rewards or awards in reference to um, what's going on. And this is beautiful energy because the gods are smiling on you is what this card is. Okay, so that's beautiful. So for some of you, you may meet someone with this sweetheart energy. OK, for others of you, you know, this person may try to communicate with you, but they've drained you of so much energy, time and effort. You, you're going to see who they are. You're going to see it for yourself, well, especially when the sun comes into the 10th house. You're going to be able to see this person for who they are. You're going to see them for what they mean to you, what they brought into your life and your moral compass, your moral capacity is going to be uh, in play. You're going to be looking at this as like, is this what I really want? Is this person for me? No, they're not because they're the king of pentacles in reverse. So this person could be cheating on you. They could be married to you, but they could be cheating on you. They could have gotten someone else pregnant or gotten pregnant by someone else. This could be someone who's an energy vampire. Some of you could have been dealing with a succubus, incubus energy where they were just keeping you around to drain you of your energy. Some of you, this person was latching on to you financially. OK, and so when the sun and the moon align in that house, it's going to make things a little bit more stable for you so that you're able to make the decisions to bring balance into your life. If this is about a job, some of you are going to end up leaving the place that you're at because you're going to end up finding a job that is best for you. Or if you got fired um, from your job, you're going to um, after the sun comes into the 10th house, you're going to be in position to hear something or be in a position to get a position that is going to lead you to, um, you know, fulfillment in that area of your life. So that's a beautiful energy. All right. So let's get uh, a card that is going to talk about what energy you may need to embody to help speed this along. So on June, June 10th, uh, when you have a regular uh, new moon, uh, the first three nights of the new moon are most, imp are most important because they're the most potent. So if you're doing spell work, affirmations or manifestations, you write those down, you know, as far as your affirmations or your manifestations, you can write them down, put them in a um, box, you write them on that day, the June 10th, 
you know, um, you can do it for the whole week. So you could do it um, every day for seven days or, you you know, those seven days are going to be the most potent. And it's very important that you keep this in mind because, again, these energies are going to be with us until the lunar eclipse comes again in November. This is how potent and powerful this is about new beginnings, putting new plans in place. OK, so especially when it comes to your um, professional and career endeavors, Write, manifest what you want, write it down, write it down. And, you know, if you have a notebook where you write your manifestations, cool. If you're one who writes your manifestations and you put them in a, sp a particular place, cool. If you're one who writes your manifestations down and then you go out the night of the new moon, you read it out loud and you burn it, whatever works for you. All right. But this is a great time to manifest in reference to those energies of the 10th house and the energies that you would want to embody to help you to get through this is all about taking a risk. This is about Jupiterian energy. It's all about expansion and growth. Some of you may need to travel or you may get um, you may want to relocate for a job. Some of you should apply for if you want to leave the city or leave the area where you are and you're looking to move someplace else. Apply for jobs in those areas. You um, are going to have uh, good luck with that. Uh, also, you know, this talks about enthusiasm, optimism, generosity, benevolence, belief luck so some of you your luck's going to change now because you may have left this work environment or you may have gotten fired or you've gotten out of this relationship uh seeking travel positivity lectures foreign cultures teaching pilgrimage chance expansion leaping exploration potential so this is really, really good energy. And I'm telling you, when Jupiter goes into retrograde next week or in two weeks from now, your um, energy is going to even be better. So this is why you really want to focus on the things that you want in reference to the 10th house energies. It can be in any area of your life, but to make it doubly potent, you, you do want to focus those energies on whatever area in your chart that this solar eclipse is going to fall. All right. So that's what I got for you guys for the um, June solar eclipse reading. If this resonated in any way, feel free to click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment on how it resonates, feel free to do so. If you leave any comments disrespecting the channel, the way that I read or anybody in the eighth house community, especially if you're trying to, you know, go after a particular sign or Leo's ain't this or, or you know, you're going to be blocked and deleted. There's not going to be any more disrespect tolerated in the um in the uh, community channel because I would hate to have to turn off the comments on you guys but I see why some readers do it and I'm not talking to you in general um, Virgo I'm saying this on all of my um, videos moving forward because there's been some real nasty energy in the comments and I feel like this is a place where th I try to set this uh, reading um, environment up where people are coming who are on their path they're on their journey because I'm on my path and I'm on my journey so whatever the universe is shared with me, I want to reflect that in the channel, right? So if you're on your path and then you're on your journey, you know, um, using astrology and tarot to help you to figure things out is um, a great way to go because it has helped me tremendously. And this is why I do what I do. So I don't want to tolerate, well, I'm not going to tolerate people coming in here lashing out because, you know, they're on the opposite end of the spectrum. They're not trying to be on their path. They're on a, on a path to, you know negative energy and so this is a time now where a lot of people are going to be getting negative energy thrown back in their face uh via karma and they're not happy so they're lashing out in the comments and um i don't want anybody to um have to be uh, subjected to that or victimized because you know you have some people who are having a grown adult tantrums so with that being said i love you guys thank you for checking out the video and i'll see you in the next reading